Okay, agenda item number three. It's a Hay Hire case, City of Hay Hire. Case number HA-2012-01. Will staff please make a presentation. Yes, sir. This is a request from the City of Hay Hire for variances from the Hay Hire Zenning Ordinance. This is not something that the Planning Commission normally sees. It's, um, Hay Hire has, has no zoning board appeals of their own and city council functions that way. So for their ordinance, they send their variances to the Planning Commission for review um, and recommendation before they take action on it. Um, this is very similar to a request that you heard um, right at like exactly one year ago uh, for phase one of the Gateway Pines apartment complex for uh, reduction in the sizes of the parking spaces. In this case, it is phase two, which is immediately to the east, uh, which is currently under construction and received its permits in August. And they're requesting two variances. Uh, one is a reduction in the overall number of parking spaces. It is a 56 unit complex. It requires a minimum of 112 spaces. They are requesting 84 instead of the 112. Um, since this is for elderly housing, they are presenting for the argument that they do not need the full two parking spaces for dwelling unit, but rather one and a half. Um, they're also requesting a different <coughs> variance in terms of reduction of size. Uh, before, they were looking at a more narrow space, but in terms of length and width. Um, he hires requirement stipulates 200 square feet of parking space. There are no conventions associated with that in the ordinance, um, but it's widely understood that as a 10 by 20 uh, to make the 200 square feet. Uh, what they are proposing is 10 foot wide still, is what would typically be required for eight hours. But instead of 20 feet deep, they are proposing 18 feet deep. Um, with regard to the first variance, um, staff is supportive of that. Uh, we recognize that for elderly housing, based on our experience with other similar projects in the community, that they simply do not need that much parking. Um, however, they did go through the permitting process in the summer and review the site plan, which did decode. In other words, they did show the 112 parking spaces at the full 200 square foot size. Um, so they do have room for the parking. And as you see in our recommendation for the conditions, is that we are agreeable with the reduction in the number to 84, but the remaining 28 spaces should be reserved as grass open uh, parking in case overflow is needed, or in case in the future, complex would you change to something other than out of the house. So in other words, keep the space in reserve and put it to good use as green space. With regard to the reduction in size, um, we concur that it is reasonable in terms of reducing the depth from 20 feet to 18 feet, because that is very similar to what is uh, required in Valdosta and Miles County. Uh, however, under the State Highway Zoning Ordinance, there is simply a hardship for that. Um, and if have room on their side for those extra two feet of the spaces. So with regard to the second variant, that is recommended uh, recommend denial. Um, if I answer questions you might have, okay. Are there any questions for staff from the commission? <coughs> Mr. Chair. Ms. Ms. Bob. Um, when we heard this in, in the past, one of the issues that we brought up was this is a place for the elderly, which a lot of them have vans with scooters that they put on their cars and we were concerned at that time with the fact that already a smaller parking spot did not make a lot of sense if it was the village for the elderly. Um, plus it allows them more space to park um, when our skills may not be as, as good as they once were and also for vans or, or different types of vehicles that are usually used when people are still mobile but need uh, additional, you know, walking mobility. So are you still comfortable with the fact that we're trying to have a, a small regular parking spot? Um, the, well, I mean, we're recommending now the change in size of the spaces. Um, Ten feet wide is what they're proposing, which I think is plenty good. That's larger than what most communities require in terms of width. Um, handicap spaces they are providing, they have to by code. And they're still providing the ratio of handicapped spaces as if they have 112. So they're not getting a reduction in the handicapped spaces. So they have a little more than what a parking lot of 84 would normally require. Um, the two feet off of the depth of the space, um, again, it's not a hardship or a recommended denial of that. But in terms
terms of comparing that with what other local governments require, they're involved. Thank you. Do we have any other questions for staff? Okay.